So the things you do in computers and the things you do on your phone. Yep. Byte dance. Look at this. We're going to take a look at this. So we're going to leave this chart up for a little while here and talk over this one. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll take the lead here. Uh, so obviously we see on this chart the annual revenue since being founded. We see that Meta is on the top, but Meta is also year 16 slash 17 or 17 slash 18, uh, where the only other contender here is ByteDance, which is also known as TikTok, the parent company. Um, and they're at 85 billion, and you're looking at they're at year, what, nine. So they've reached 85% 80, of the same revenue that uh, Meta has in half the time. So I think, I think there's multiple components to this that has allowed it. I think that the, one of the things that I'd be interested in seeing here is like when these different companies were, were started and like how much slower it is versus uh, ByteDance, obviously has been out for a couple of years now, and they've really hammered on the mobile only, and that's where we've seen a rapid growth because now everyone has phones, and then obviously they've, they've been good at hitting a social media for a younger demographic, which is exploding on that end. And if you look, at the 80, they hit this 85 billion number, like year eight, nine, and you look at 16, 17, that's when uh, Meta hit 85 billion total sales. And that's yep. long after they had WhatsApp, long after they have Instagram. And they had added tremendous other functionality to Meta. Um, it was before they started throwing money into the shredder on the uh, Metaverse. But you take a look there, ByteDance has got to that number in exactly half the time. And here, you're year 18, YouTube sitting there at 29 billion, which is about a third. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think right at yep. a third, a third of the revenue in twice the years. And never mind, uh, you know, uh, poor little uh, Twitter er, yeah. or X. I guess there should be the X bird, and Snapchat whatever. There too. And Snapchat in there. They've never really had the driven economic underpinnings that that Facebook did or that YouTube did. And now you see what ByteDance is doing primarily with influencers. Although you're correct, ByteDance started when we had a whole new generation, a second generation, not a first generation, a second generation of digital natives yep. who grew up on digital but grew up on mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew that from PHP, uh, the fantastic um, a company that Patrick Bet David founded back 2009, 2010 timeframe. And you see what happened there the software that he built had to have mobile components because they demand it, because they don't, the generation that became insurance agents on this incredible platform that Patrick built, you know, they don't go to Starbucks like their moms, dads, aunts, and uncles did and sit there for three hours with the laptop. They're on mobile. They're on the larger mobile screens, the, um, you know, iPhone Plus, and it's got to work at least partially well on, on the phone. So not only are they digital natives, they're mobile digital natives, and that is the group that ByteDance has figured out that ad model to, yep. and they've got to $85 billion. Let, a, let alone the algorithm. Obviously, the, the TikTok algorithm is, is something else where they're getting people, they're getting them hooked in, and, and people are really seeing a lot on that end. The other interesting part that I looked at on the numbers here is ByteDance is more than 2x YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat combined. So it goes to show how monstrous it is, because I thought YouTube was way bigger in terms of numbers, just in terms of the, the platform, let alone that it's also a Google platform, but it's still being slaughtered by both ByteDance and um, Meta or Facebook on that end. Although you know, TikTok's got great features, like that new feature, Hey TikTok. I mm -hmm. said, Hey TikTok, how much money does my brother have in his checking account? It, no. So it's just kind of amazing. It probably has nothing to do with the data leaks going back to China or anything, <laughs> but I just thought it was really, but kind of a fantastic new feature.